Welcome to this video introduction. This is a video about Neolithic and possibly Paleolithic cartridges. I call these cartridges like Neolithic hybrid transportation system, somewhere in between train tracks and cable cars, because there is more than sufficient proof of this. This video will show that wheels and even ruts or tracks were used very intensively, efficiently and in an automated way, and at least in cases propelled by gravity, clean energy. This all the way back in the Neolithic or long before, and this all over the world, also as far as the Americas and Brazil. This will also show that cultures and or imperians or even kind of multinationals were much more advanced and mature than the general public today expects. These cultures were also specialized in mining and in metallurgy on an industrial scale even for today's standards. Their com communities and supposed houses held kind of blast furnaces for heavy duty metallurgical and other purposes fit uh, for the turnover event by which these cultures overturned and took the whole world and we modern humans are the result and descendants of this turnover. These cultures overturned and took the whole world so much that we, who call ourselves modern humans, are them or descendants of them, the members of these newly arriving cultures from the Americas. That perhaps you could call horsemen and the humans that were are now in fact that were then are now in fact already in fact already back then back then extinct so what were, were not our ancestors today uh, are extinct and this extinction is not limited to humans alone. While they, the new arriving people from the Americas, used several clean energy systems when they invaded and before their conquest was complete, their industry and military were not clean or sustainable at all, in fact very destructive. At times, especially the military, rather burned it all when it regarded the cultures and the forests these former cultures depended on. The herds and animals, especially the wild animals in the forest, megafauna, the former cultures depended on. So former cultures, the humans in the regions that were invaded by the outsiders, today us modern humans, their industry, military, culture was so intensive, destructive and widespread that they caused, possibly on purpose, an ice age. This period and ice age includes, includes the Younger Dryas Ice Age and destructions that we today, in my opinion, wrongly interpret as meteorite impacts. Because we seem to have no other way to explain our findings. Scientists today find evidence that cannot be explained if they do not recognize 
the capability for the invading cultures to create very high temperatures like one can only reach in blast furnaces. Since scientists still do not recognize these amaranth haplogroup R, but direct, which are direct or indirect descendants of Q, coming from the Americas, hence the haplogroup is Q or descendant of Q, built and operated blast furnaces. S some scientists chose to explain the evidence which uh, with supposed meteorite impacts. Even while there is plenty of evidence, a my my meteorite impact could not have been the cause of the found supposed proxies. Amongst others, because they were spread over a long period of time, thousand or more years. So some scientists hypothesize that the vitrifications uh, found are proxies of meteorite impacts. Figure below. These are the routes and the turnover event R1A and later R1B, R1A uh, took more uh, area but was at least partially uh, eliminated by B, here B, here B, there's B in other parts of the world too. So R1A and R1B coming from R1 and so these are the roots root. Earlier roots, later roots. This is explained in other uh, videos. So R1 or R is the root in, the, in North America and this is a turnover event because these people will take over what was and are still present today. Image below. This is the source here. Um, this is uh, part of the evidence of the turnover event, which is interpreted as a meteorite impacts. So this figure here, uh, Stonehenge is a location roughly 4,400 years ago, source David Rye 2021. This is the link, written form. <coughs> so this is 5,500 going coming closer 3000 bp here 5500 3000 2500 years so these are the populations that are present and suddenly they are not anymore and they are taken over by the red dots which are the horsemen which are the newcomers coming from the americas which are and it's proven by DNA, red, R, R1B, uh, a subhaplogroup group of it. And what do they take over? The blue, and the blue are I and I2. And the white dots are the female dots. So it's a 90% replacement What you see here is R1B, R1B turns over, eliminates all that was before, which are the blue dots, which are I and I2. There is more to this figure than this. I, 
I think it's a quite specific uh, situation that is not the pa pattern everywhere so here you see ancient North Eurasia ancient Siberia Americas Americas the red dots and you see the similarity in DNA with what we find in Western Europe and Western Eurasia <coughs> what I showed you is Britain this one but this is Iberia, Iberia. so it's it's not equal that's why I said Britain is seems more drastic than the rest of Western Europe Karnak, France, I will explain later. Destruction and supposed meteorite impacts from North America to Western Eurasia, where most of the better known turnover by the horsemen took place. So I go back. This belongs to this figure. Destruction, which in fact is a turnover by you, by uh, North American and later I will explain why you see the supposed same destruction here, that is because they had the same activities here these activities also industrial were mature and they took them with them and what we find today is the evidence of this mature culture technology that includes metallurgy and possibly glass making, ceramics making too. So, destruction and supposed meteorite impacts from North America to Western Eurasia were where most of the better known turnover took place. Western Europe, Western Eurasia. There was turnover in the Americas too. Clovis culture, megafauna, they were all extinct. When our scientists try to explain what they find, I claim they do not consider the whole picture and try to explain things from a local and Western European and Western Eurasian standpoint or from the standpoint from consensus they simply do not consider that something could have been coming from the west from the Americas as you see here so and of course depending on where you are east and west is relative eh? so but from the European st standpoint uh, the turnover came from the East. We modern humans, or consensus, seem to have a problem with these facts and prefer not to see the plentiful evidence that the differences, what they find, is caused by the advanced newcomers coming from the Americas, the horsemen. So they try to explain uh, with a meteorite impact. So, Laura, Neolithic Card Ruts Malta 1. This video gives comments, amongst others, on a video from Laura, who is the author of a very unique and creative Megalith Hunter channel. Laura asks the next question. Could card words have been carved by a lost civilization? This is a clickable link. Uh, this is the link in written form. This is another video of her, also a clickable link. Link in written form here. Author Laura uh, Megalith Hunter Channel. This is her logo here name 
and she certainly has by now over 140 videos this is um, the image of a video could card rats have been carved by a lost civilization megalith hunter channel this is lower lower speaking in a video and channel as the megalith hunter i explore my fascination with the megalith builders these prehistoric ancients, ancients are in many ways still a mystery to us. To get a better understanding of them, I also look at what came before and what came after, as well as researching contemporary cultures who didn't build megalith monuments at all. If you love mysteries of the ancient past as much as I do, join me as I explore sites and look at the gaps in our knowledge of them. This is the end of quote or lower speaking. Here's my motivation, me, GM, Johannes Malans, my motivation to comment on lower's video. I'm a forestry engineer. Uh, my motivation to comment on the very interesting video of Loha is that her approach is very straightforward and that she has clear objectives also that she performed research in the field herself and possibly mostly on her own and she is one of the few authors that speaks freely and in detail about cartridges and other megaliths another motivation for me to comment on videos of uh, Laura is what Laura says at the very end of some of her videos which I interpret as a kind of invitation for others to comment so this is what Laura says I have my own theories on what managers were really for and what was happening in the Maltese temples and I'm getting somewhere with the theory about the cyclopean walls but cartridges have me really confused this is all Loma speaking um, she is determined to solve at least a tin tiny bit of the mystery that is the ancient past but she wants a community to do it with Having support on YouTube and social media makes the journey so much more fun. I love sharing my trips and my research. So in the next video I will go on from here. My comments on Laura's work and videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.